Well, what would a holy man or woman look like? I think that, first of all, a holy man or a holy woman would tell you how unholy they are. Holiness is like humility. The more you have of it, the less you think you have. I had a mother who was a great prayer warrior. She prayed about two hours a day, and I just envied her prayer life. And when I asked her when she was 80 years old if she could live her life all over again, what would she do differently? And she said, oh, honey, I'd pray a lot more. And I think a holy person is like that. He, um, he grieves over how unholy he is. I think Paul has been very holy in his groanings in Romans 7. That's the first thing. Secondly, I think a holy man or a holy woman is a, has a very sensitized conscience to sin, not out of a legalistic motive, but because he loves Jesus Christ and the Father and the Holy Spirit so much. A holy man or a holy woman is one who has distinct communion with the three persons of the Trinity as well as with the Godhead as a whole and learns to say with Samuel Rutherford, I don't know which divine person I love the most, but this I know, I love each of them and I need them all. So holiness is, is Trinitarian in its uh, object. And then thirdly, I think a holy man or a holy woman is someone who realizes that because of their own weakness to sin, their own proneness to backslide, they need to stay in the means of grace and use them conscientiously every day.